What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to JDS Outdoors Jet Boat Build 2.0, episode number 25. So, I'm sure you can see my little touch up spot there. Scuffed it, still drying. But this is going to be a little lengthy video about wiring up this boat. Um, I've been pretty hard at work at it, getting everything that needs to be wired up installed. And uh, if you've been following along on Tiny Boat Nation on Facebook, I'm sure you've seen a couple photos. Um, but we're going to do a quick walk around here and show you what has been installed and what needs to be hooked up. And then go through how this boat is going to get wired up. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of tips and tricks in here that may help you to wire up your boat as well if you're looking to do that so without uh, further ado here I'll give you the first look at what this boat looks like BAM we got five LED light bars on the front four of them facing off to the side Got the 55 pound Minn Kota uh, Power Drive V2 converted to an iPilot. Got the LED bow lights in the front. Front casting deck is installed. That LED light bar is a 22 inch. The big one up there is a 52 straight. We got the uh, Power Drive hooked up to a Minn Kota plug. Come along to the back here. Got the seats installed. I did fix the steering. However, I need to rebuild it again after I get this tested out and make sure it works. Because uh, I drilled the hole a little too big and it's got a little wobble to it. Um, side to side. It's front to back steering, but side to side wobble. Not a fan, but it'll work as is for now. Got the interior. Uh goodies installed we have pioneer stereo none of the speakers are installed yet we'll get to that with a uh, on off switch so when you have a stereo in your car you know your ignition your key is your on off switch essentially since this doesn't have an ignition like that we are going to install the switch to turn on and off the radio act like your key that other switch right there is going to be the master switch to run the switch panel uh, we'll hop up in there in a second or go over it when it's on that side back here to the engine compartment we got both batteries installed I made a uh, tray to hold them and then they are secured with a ratchet strap these things are solid. I mean, two-ton Tina could kick that thing and it ain't going to go nowhere. We go over to the gas tank. Same thing. Ratchet straps are holding it down. Two little brackets down there to keep it tight. We have a bilge blower. I believe that moves 130 cubic feet of air a minute. So that thing will suck the stripes off a raccoon. And... Uh, and keep going. Uh, what that's going to do is that's going to clear out the bilge uh, of any uh, fuel vapors or anything like that. It also may help to keep it dry because it's going to be wide open minus the foam underneath the floor but the back deck here is going to go on here in a little while and that will uh, so encase the back and that'll keep the bilge clean sucks air all the way from the front we have an antenna for the stereo system Come over to this side we got the rear nav light socket down here we got the uh, air inlet for the bilge blower and the bilge pump that's a 1200 gallon an hour bilge pump that will suck some water uh, we do have quite a bit of empty space back here. We'll figure out something at a later date to do or to use that space for. 
not concerned about it at the moment. Right here we have our reverse lever. Uh, forward is forward. Pull it back, that's your reverse. Works pretty slick. Here we have our control station. <clears throat> now the way these panels are hooked up, uh, I'm not a whole fan of, um, but I'll go over that. It's uh, This is going to control all the light bars, the bilge blower, the bilge pump, and then that switch right there will turn on the master power to this panel. Because without that, uh, if, if you just have this hooked straight to the battery, it's this voltage meter is always going to be on. Your USB and your cigarette lighter will always be on too. Kind of like a leech for the battery. Uh, this is the dash from the, uh, the jet ski. That is my tachometer, gas gauge, hour meter. Uh, it also has the time on there. So that will be pretty sweet. Uh, not mounted yet is the fuse panel slash bus bar, whatever you want to call it. Every th system on this boat will be fused. Um, so the back or the front deck is not secured on yet. And that's because, get up in here, we have some wiring to do on the inside. Move this. Not sure if you can see in there, but this is the back of the plug for the trolling motor. That's got to get hooked up. This is a 60 amp breaker. That's gonna um, the cable is gonna run from the battery right to that, and then that's gonna go to the trolling motor and also the winch. Um, then we got to hook up nav lights and the front LED light bar. So without further ado, we're gonna get into wiring this thing up. Now both those batteries in the back are going to be hooked in series. Um, uh, I lied, not in series, in parallel so that uh, they run off a 12 volt, 12 volt system. You hook it in series that'll make it 24 volt. Um, here's a helpful hint. We need big wires to power uh, to send the most amount of amperage uh, from the battery to our accessories. Um, I have this one here on the right, 16 foot 6 gauge jumper cables. You're going to go buy that just plain wire, you're going to be 30 40 bucks. That set of jumper cables is $15. You cut the ends off, you have 16 feet of 6 gauge wire for way less than half the cost. So this one right here is going to go from the batteries all the way up front here to the trolling motor uh, breaker and so it's going to power the trolling motor and the winch. This uh, 12 foot 8 gauge is going to power everything else in the boat. That's going to run from the uh, batteries up to underneath the dash to that fuse panel and then wires will go off from the fuse panel uh, to it, their perspective categories or accessories. We got a bunch of stuff here for wiring, different uh, wire strippers and crimpers. Uh, I got some 10 gauge wire here. I'll show you what that's for when we get to that. Uh, we got some wire wrap, some uh, quick clips to help keep wires neat and tidy. And over here we got all kinds of wire. This is all 16 gauge. Uh, nothing in this boat other than the trolling motor. Sorry about that. Other than the trolling motor, um, pull big power. So 16 gauge is plenty. And we'll probably run 14 gauge for the big LED light bar. But I have that also. So first step is going to be running or cutting these ends off, the jumper cables and running them from the front of the boat to the back of the boat and also from the back of the boat to the middle of the boat to the uh, the helm. So I will get to that, cut back in with you here shortly. Alright, so we have the, the jumper cables ends cut off and the wires ran to their 
uh, locations. So the plan with this, these motor or these batteries, is to hook them up in parallel. And to hook that up in parallel, what you're going to do is you're going to run the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative. You're going to hook wires up to that. And now I'm not an electrician or a pro, but I personally like to run um, my wires then one from the negative of one battery and from the positive of the other battery because in my head it makes sense that they uh, draw evenly. So that's the plan. Hook those together and then we got both sets of wires are going to be hooked to um, well positive so negative there and then the positives over here one off of each battery and now we have the um, this is the 16 gate or the uh, sorry the uh, 6 gauge goes all the way up to the front by the trolling motor and then the 8 gauge here goes over underneath the dash right there and that's going to hook right to the fuse panel and here we have the back of the switch panel and I was saying I don't like how they're wired up this has this one's got fuses on it um, I'm not a fan of uh, how any of this is hooked up so the plan is, is to take all these red wires all these positives and get rid of them and um, get rid of these fuses because I'm gonna fuse every switch individually the way they have this hooked up is it's uh, two switches are fused together and then these two are fused together and then these two are fused together so the plan is to hook up the power cable to the fuse block negative positive and then we're gonna have positive wire come out into the power in of the switch which is this middle blade right here and then we're gonna have the power out going out to say the light bar or the um, uh, nav lights or whatever so power out is on the bottom power in is in the middle so everything will be fused before it touches the panel here and then uh, to run the uh, um, the LED lights and the top portion the uh, or the LED lights on the switch and the cigarette lighter USB and the voltmeter how that's gonna run is we're gonna have a positive wire come out of here it's gonna run up to the switch and then from the switch over to the um, the accessories the uh, the USB and this and the cigarette lighter voltmeter and whatnot also I don't remember which one is which I'll cut back in with that um, one of these is positive one of these is negative and all these control are the um, LED lights the illumination on the switch itself so when you flip the switch on it lights up so I'll get back when I know what that is um, but the six gauge wire that goes from the battery runs up to the front right here so we got positive negative six gauge wire running from the back of the boat to the front and where it's going to go from here tuck you underneath see if we can see so this right here is a 60 amp breaker so the positive is going to come in to the breaker and then we're going to have two wires going out one wire is going to go from the other side up to the uh, uh, plug in here for the trolling motor and then the other wire is going to run over to the winch and now the winch and the trolling motor are never going to be ran at the same time but the very very rare or non-existent occasion that it does the 60 amp breaker is plenty of power um, to run it but that is highly 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 unlikely that that'll ever happen but on the bright side the um, uh, trolling motor and the winch will both be uh, breaker protected so that's what I'm gonna start working on I'm gonna get those hooked up and uh, I'll cut back in oh the uh, 10 gauge wire that I bought this stuff 
is going to go from uh, the breaker up to the, uh, the plug um, because that's that's really all you need is 10 gauge but I put 6 gauge in so I can cover my amps over the distance that it's traveling so I will get that done and get back with you so helpful hint number two here with a little bit of a grainy video I'm hooking up my my negatives and uh, these are some pretty thick wires um, they sell connectors and they're usually like three to four bucks a piece if, if you if you buy them um, for splicing together thicker wires here's a little trick you go to the plumbing section and get yourself a piece of soft wall copper tubing it's usually like a buck a foot you cut it into little pieces and uh, depending on the size or the cost depends on the size of the uh, copper tubing you get I usually get like quarter three eighths um, and you cut it into little pieces and you can use that to join your wire together smash it down and then heat it up put some solder behind there and that sucker ain't ever coming off so a little money saving tip if you ever want to join some big wires together soft wall copper tubing you can also use this soft wall copper tubing to make ends like this for uh, bigger wires um, so you, you smash the copper tubing down you drill a hole in it you leave the other end open stick your wire in there smash it down solder it on throw a little bit of heat shrink over the top of it boom you got a cheap DIY connector alright so the bow is completely wired up now including the nav light and the LED light bar really tough to see in here because it's dark but uh, got the wires we have a, a red and black uh, 14 gauge wire going to the light bar up here and then we have brown and black going to the nav lights so everything in this boat is going to be color coordinated so I went with brown for the positive on the nav lights so when we go to wire up the back of the boat we just run another brown wire to the back of the boat hook it up in the middle to the switch there we go positive or power to the uh, the nav lights um, the LED light bars will be hooked up to with uh, the 14 gauge everything else will be with that 16 gauge all with an exception of the uh, the winch and the uh, trolling motor up here so the next step is to secure this bow deck down and uh, get to wiring up the middle of the boat and um, I'm gonna use uh, screws unfortunately I bought uh, I bought some inch and a quarter stainless steel screws to secure down the deck I could not find rivets that were long enough I needed uh, one inch long rivets and uh, no place around here sells them so I will have to hop on Amazon and order those and swap out the screws with rivets at a later date but uh, for the time being screws will work and the reason I hate screws is because they tend to vibrate out um, if you want something to really stick in a boat you really need to either use rivets or bolts with nylock nuts on the back um, that is the the best way to get stuff to stick and stay and not vibrate loose um, but yeah this uh, the trolling motor plug wired up real easy I got the uh, the 10 gauge wire going for the plug over to the 60 amp breaker uh, 6 gauge wire coming into the breaker we have uh, the negative right here going to the negative wire of the uh, the jumper cable the 6 gauge negative and uh, the trolling motor and the winch are both on that circuit so I am going to uh, start in the middle of the boat and I'll cut back in shortly all right so the front wires are done for all the LED light bars runs along the top over there down through the dash and underneath 
So, so far all I have hooked up to that fuse panel is the positive negative from the battery, which is still unhooked from the battery, and the negatives. All these loose wires are going to get ran to the switch panel. So, none of those are hooked up to anything yet. But you get the idea of how that's going. So now from here forward, the boat is wired up. All we got left is to run wires along the back here to the good old bilge pump, bilge blower, and the rear light. That should take me not too horribly long to do. And uh, the good news is, is it's starting to get dark outside. And what that means is uh, when it's dark outside, by the time it's dark outside, this thing should be pretty damn close to wired up and we can see how bright them suckers are. But the bow deck is done, secured, just needs to be vacuumed. Uh, eventually, so this is a hatch right here to get into the uh, free spool on the winch on the side there. Eventually that'll get a latch on it, but I am ready for uh, ready to take this thing out on the water and play with it a little bit. Make a couple little adjustments as needed in the future. So I'm going to go ahead and wire up the bilge compartment and uh, cut back in here in a little bit. All right, so here's what we got going on back here. We have blue, yellow, and brown. And if you remember, brown was for the front bow lights. So I extended the brown back here. Kind of looks like black and black in the photo. To hook up to rear light. I did blue for the bilge. And yellow for the bilge blower. And I guess the reason I went yellow with the bilge blower. Because that's what color the the uh, wire was coming out of it. So I stuck with it. And blue for bilge, because blue, bilge, BB. Anyways, we'll, uh, we'll go back up to the dash, underneath the dash, and uh, show you why this is awesome. Oh, also, uh, this bilge pump is hooked up to an automatic float switch. So the blue wire will need constant power. But uh, show you that underneath the dash here when we go up there. All right, I know it looks like a mess of wires under here, but being now that they're color coordinated, it's really easy to understand. So all those wires, besides the blue and the blacks, are going to get ran up to the switch panel. And then after we do that, we are going to run wires from the fuse panel to the switch panel. And what this is going to accomplish is power goes into the fuse panel, Power comes out of the fuse panel via the wires in the individual fuses, goes to a switch. So that means that that switch is fuse protected. And when we get to, um, then when we flip the switch, power goes out of the switch to the correct uh, accessory that you want it to. And being that they're color coordinated, you get to pick and know and choose and label properly which uh, which switch is which. So I'm going to go ahead and get that fuse panel mounted permanently. Start running wires to it. And then I will cut back in and show you the next step. All right, I'm going to recap the back of this uh, switch panel before I install it. So, on this particular panel, the yellow is a negative. So I connected the two negatives together into one wire. And on this one, the blue is the positive. Now, remember, you do not need to have the yellow and blue wire hooked up for the switches to work. All those two wires are for is to light up the LEDs on the switch. There's actually two sets of LEDs. 
One will turn on when you flip the switch. The other one is continuous. The yellow and the blue are for the continuous LEDs. I also went ahead and rewired the um, USB cigarette lighter and voltmeter. So, with that being said, so this is going to go to the uh, the master switch. All right. So the the USB cigarette lighter, voltmeter, and the continuous LEDs will not work without the master switch being on. However, you can still use the switch panel as is without the master switch being on. It's just not going to light up and you're not going to see your voltage. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this in and I'm going to start connecting some wires. Alright ladies and gents, we got the wiring complete under the dash. Um, the switch panel all hooked up. Kind of dark under there, but that's all hooked up. The, uh, the fuse block, or at least what we want hooked up right now. I currently do not have the stereo hooked up because that's not an important part of the wiring video. So, the next step is to hook up batteries, start flipping some switches, see if everything got hooked up properly. So I'll get these hooked up, get back. Alright boys and girls, there we have it. Batteries are hooked up in parallel. And might I add, if you're going to hook up batteries in parallel or series, it is best to have them be the same exact size and the same age. Um, <clears throat> if they're not the same size, one will pull off the other one and discharge differently and it's just a mess. So these batteries are both the same exact size and they're only a month apart in age but purchased at the same time. Also, um, I'm sure you can see that these are Everstart batteries, Walmart special. Um, fun fact for you, Everstart batteries and Interstate batteries are the identical batteries. Same, same damn thing. Only difference is, is the stickers. So, let's, uh, let's hop up in here and not look at too much of the mess. Let's check out and see if everything works the way it should. So we have our master switch. Flip this on, that should light up. Here we go. Boom. Lights up the lower LEDs and the voltmeter. So the way this is hooked up, first switch is the big light bar up top. See if we can get this to focus. Mm. Uh, oh, there we go. Holy shit. Yeah, that's bright. Second LED light bar, or second one is the, uh, the front LED light bar. Nice. Looking good. Third switch is the side marker lights. Working over there, working over there, pretty sweet. Uh, next is the nav lights, looks like they're working up front. I don't have the one on the back. <clears throat> let's, uh, let's go hook that up and see if that one works. Yeah, she's lit up. Let's, uh, let's go walk around front here and check out the upper ones, or the front ones. See how those turned out? Oh yeah. Blurry, but sweet. I'm gonna go turn on every one of them lights and blind myself, come up front and see what it looks like. There it is. Every one of the lights on. Oh, except for we got one not working. I'll have to play with that. Check it out. Yeah, that one's burnt out. I'll have to order a new one to replace that. 
but there it is all wired up minus the stereo and some interior LEDs that I can do later so if you like what you see in this video feel free to drop a thumbs up thumbs down subscribe whatever apologize for the long video but hopefully this helps somebody as always thanks for watching